Hello, scrappy friends. Shannon Domkowski here today with a video, a process video using the July um, add-on kit, scrapbooking add-on kit from Citrus Twist. And I'm only using the add-on kit for this and I want to show you the products that come with it quickly before we get started. So from the new Pink Rush Studio line, Let's Stay Home, we have the cardstock stickers and the puffy stickers from pink paisley we have some ephemera great colors with the black and white and gold there these adorable bows which are very three-dimensional and i believe that they are from the new maggie holmes sweet storyline and some thickers here capital and lowercase and these are some of the papers, which are a mixture of Pink Paisley, Maggie Holmes, Amy Tangerine, Pink Fresh Studio, um, Heidi Swap, and then some more Maggie Holmes, and of course the white cardstock and a colored cardstock as comes in every add on kit. And then I have the papers that I have already chosen to use with this layout, which is one from the Here and Now line from Dear Lizzie, and then two from the Maggie Holmes Sweet Story line. So for the background of this 12 by 12 page, I have decided to use this paper from Maggie Holmes Sweet Story line. I really love the frames and as you can see, I've already cut out a few of them um, just because watching me cut with an X-Acto knife for a few minutes would probably be pretty boring. Um, I did indicate there's a few more I wanna cut out, but these are where my photos will go in my journaling. And before I made the video, I went ahead and measured the inside of all of these frames so I could print pictures to size because of course it's not a normal size picture. And you could probably get away with printing them three by four if you didn't want to get technical, but I would make sure that the focus of the photo is kind of centered so it doesn't get cut off by the frame. And then I did the same thing for my journaling and I am going to go ahead and get started putting this layout together. So the first thing that I'm going to do is adhere my photos within the frames. So because the size of the photos might be a little bit um, too small to put the adhesive around the edge of the actual photo, I am going to put the adhesive around the edge of the frame. And you'll notice that I'm kind of wiping my mat a little bit. Um, my adhesive is tiny dots and it's easy to rub off my mat if it gets on my mat. And then after these are all adhered to the back, I actually go back, um, not on video, but I go back and I cover those adhesive dots with some extra washi tape. And that way my page doesn't stick to the page behind it and my page protectors or stick to my desk. Now I'm going to cut out these, the inside of these frames where I will be putting some patterned paper. Um, just going to very carefully with my X-Acto knife cut along the lines. And I'm really not too concerned about getting it right along the lines or getting it straight. These frames aren't like, the edges aren't perfectly crisp and clean. Um, so it's okay if I went off a little bit, I wasn't really going for the look of perfection there. So now I'm taking my first pattern paper and I'm going to line it up and then make one little snip where I need to cut and then measure where I need to do the other line. And then I'm just going to go ahead and quickly cut out a little piece so that I can adhere that cactus in my frame. I wanted um, the teal color to kind of go with the rest of the colors on my page. So I uh, purposely lined it up so that would match. And then all I have to do is trim the excess off the side. And now it is time for my title. So I really wanted to use an and sign plus sign of some sort in my title, but there wasn't one. So I'm using this lowercase t and I just cut off that little swoosh part at the bottom. 
um, and made my own plus sign. And I do that with letters sometimes. I'll make E's into F's or L's um, or maybe G's into C's. It just uh, gives a little bit more mileage to the alphas. And another thing I like to do, especially on alphas that come on clear pages like this, is I like to line up my title along the edge. Um, so just a tiny little piece of that letter is attached to the edge of that cellophane. Um, and you'll see why I like to do that in a minute here. Um, this letter, these alphas are a little bit um, wonky, so it doesn't really matter to me if they are in a perfectly straight line. Um, usually that's a concern of mine, but right here it really isn't just because of the nature of how the letters look. So now I have my title, and the reason I do it on the edge is because I can line it up and I can make sure it is centered and I can put it on in the perfect position and then you just gently pull the cellophane out from underneath and I will go ahead and place my and sign there and my title is done. Okay, now it is time to place my embellishments and I don't know about you, but this part always takes me the longest and I don't adhere anything down until the very end um, because I tend to move things around a lot. Um, so you'll see in that, that kind of maroonish pink square, I've already placed a rainbow chipboard sticker that I knew I wanted there. Um, but I always search through all of my embellishments, kind of move things around, get a feel for things um, before making anything permanent. So here, that little sticker, the flag says backyard shenanigans and shenanigans is one of my favorite words and it just matches that picture of my daughter perfectly. Um, and then I'm just going along placing, trying to pull stickers that have colors in them that match the frames on this paper. And the paper is from Crate Paper. It's one of the Maggie Holmes papers. And a lot of the embellishments that I'm using are from, um, the stay at home line from Pink Fresh Studio, or the let's stay home line from Pink Fresh Studio. Um, and then there's also the Pink Paisley um, black and white. And I went with those because it kind of, um, you know, it's a neutral amongst all these other colors. So I'm going around placing a few other things, a few other stickers, messing with that um, heart in the middle. And you'll see what becomes of that at the end of the video. In terms of my placement so I'm going to finalize placing all of my elements and this page will be just about finished just one last element to place there and there we go okay just kidding that page wasn't done so you can see I just moved the love heart and the these are my people puppy sticker um, the page just felt too heavy to me with the giant dark heart taking up some of the white space um, and everything else was kind of anchored to the edge of the frames or within the frames and I didn't like the look and feel of it um, which happens sometimes and thankfully um, though my adhesive is it, it's permanent adhesive um, it's pretty easy to lift up and that's why I only lightly press everything down as I'm making my pages um, in case I need to lift it back up again so now this page is done